This informative video is brought to you by Energy Solutions Center. Almost two thirds of the energy used to create electricity is lost in the electric generation process in the form of thermal energy, also known as waste heat. By generating electricity at or close to the location where it is to be used, the waste heat of generation can be captured and put to good use. Combined heat and power, also known as CHP or cogeneration systems, use one energy source, typically natural gas, and produce both electricity and useful thermal energy. There are several different types of electric generators, also known as prime movers. There are many commercially available heat recovery systems and technologies available to recover heat produced by the prime mover. And finally, there are many different ways that a building or facility might be able to utilize the waste heat to maximize energy savings. For engine-driven CHP systems, heat can be recovered from the exhaust, engine jacket water, and lubrication oil. For turbines and microturbines, heat is recovered from the exhaust, and fuel cells produce hot water as a result of the process. A heat recovery unit is a heat exchanger that captures heat with potential high energy content before it is rejected from the CHP system and converted into useful thermal energy. There are numerous options for effective and efficient use of waste heat, including low and high pressure steam and or hot water, which can provide water heating, space heating, cooling, dehumidification, additional power generation, or process applications. A heat recovery steam generator is a steam boiler that uses hot exhaust gases from natural gas turbines or reciprocating engines to heat water and produce steam. The steam, in turn, can drive a steam turbine to generate additional power and improve electrical efficiency, or can be used in commercial applications that require heat, hot water, cooling, etc. Sometimes a duct burner may be integrated into the exhaust system of a turbine generator to increase temperatures to help produce high pressure steam. Heat exchangers are available in several configurations that can offer very economical heat recovery options. A plate and frame heat exchanger contains multiple thin, slightly separated plates with a very large surface area and fluid flow passages for efficient heat transfer. A shell and tube heat exchanger consists of a series of tubes that contain fluid that will be heated and circulated to where heat is needed in the building. The second fluid is located in the shell and is pumped around the tubes to transfer the heat that is being rejected from the CHP system to the building. Recovered waste heat can also be used for air conditioning and dehumidification. Absorption cooling systems need a heat source to operate. A CHP system can supply heat to an absorption cooling system and produce chilled water, or it can dehumidify the space using a desiccant system. The heat recovery process has many benefits for CHP applications. Using the recovered heat increases the overall efficiency of the CHP system and decreases the fuel and energy consumption needed for other applications at the facility, like water and space conditioning. Other benefits can include the reduction in equipment sizes, because in most cases, as fuel consumption is reduced due to the recovered heat, the size of the equipment normally used for that application may be downsized. And finally, the amount of greenhouse gas emissions are generally much lower with a CHP system that utilizes the waste heat compared to purchasing power from the grid and producing heat on site with a conventional system. For more information on CHP systems and heat recovery, please visit www.understandingchp.com.